These are my two kohlrabi, and I couldn't resist buying some from the nursery. These are also kohlrabi. And here I've got uh, broccoli and cauliflower. And let's see if some of them bounce back. One, yeah. These are the peas, and I completely forgot yesterday to check if they have germinated on the plot. And the broad beans. I'm gonna keep them for another few days because apparently the next few days there will be frost at night. But yeah. These are the sweet peas. And in the back the new ones didn't germinate yet. No sign yet. Oh, there's one coming up here. Okay. So with the onion sets, we've got some green shoots coming out here as well. That's a good sign. This one, tiny bit here and here and here. Yeah, it's looking good. <laughs> In the next few days, I'm going to receive my uh, netting for the balcony to make it cat proof and then they will be able to come outside as well because they certainly want to come outside. here for some flowers. I bought some flower bulbs I'm gonna keep on the balcony. Okay, it's still pretty cold here. Now at some point <coughs> I'm going to have a nice uh, balcony furniture here because this will all go to the garden, to the plot. Okay, I'm going to do another sewing of a white cabbage and then I'm going to do the cosmos. And here I've bought this Franzenschwerkel. Hmm. I'll find out what it's called in English. They grow up to 30 centimeters uh, tall. Okay. Good. Oh. I'm going to put two seeds per cell. So hopefully, olive, my goodness. 
He's going nuts because he's playing with a walnut, which is rather noisy. Cosmos. <coughs> These are white and pink Cosmia. I want to have as many flowers as possible on this plot. It will look very pretty. So, oh, I forgot to water. We are playing ice hockey currently with some walnuts on the floor. That's where the noise is coming from. Again. So, I'm putting two seeds per cell. So I've been sowing this cosmos and a few more cosmos here in four pots. I put two seeds in each pot and these are the white cabbages. Now I was wondering about these here because it says you should uh, plant them eight centimeters deep and that's almost at the bottom down there. I think there's no point of having those in this little uh, planter. But I also have these here. Is it? They looks like they look like uh, freesias. I'm not too sure if they are. Anyways, these only need to go five centimeters deep. So I'll do that. There are quite a lot in here now. Obviously, that's not how you're supposed to plant. Uh, they would say you would leave uh, eight centimeters between each, but I'm pretty sure they'll do fine. And I still have plenty left, so these will go to the plot. So I'm going to dig out this rhubarb because it's completely dead. 
my neighbor Fritz is going to give me some of his rhubarb. So I'll take this out now. Ah. Absolutely no sign of life in here. I didn't plan this, but this is uh, one of the three uh, strawberry beds. I just took out the strawberries and I'm gonna plant a rhubarb now. I know it's not the right time in the year, but he wants to get rid of it and I'll just have it and I'll see. I mean, I'll just try. So 
this is some horn. I chose this spot because it's always uh, in a bit of a shade from the tomato house next door. Here it is, my rhubarb. Let's see if it's going to die or if it will recover the transplanting from over there to here. So I'm just going to uh, sow a row of broad beans.